Alright, hi guys, Ponder here. Today we are going to be reacting to the Honkai Star Rail version 2.4 special program live stream, Finest Duel Under the Pristine Blue. And behind my camera, we have Jing Yuan, we have some new characters, that's Jiao Chu in the middle, and Yun Li on the far right. And of course we have Albert in this live stream special program, but before we get into the live stream, we have like 7 minutes to introduce the characters for version. 2.5, and those characters are Fei Xiao, Extraterrestrial Satellite Communication. Fei Xiao, the Merlin's Claw is what's written in the books, and the Great General is what people call me. The former sounds too formal, the latter too exaggerated. Neither suits me. I prefer my own title, the Lacking General, lacking in worries, regrets, and rivals. The Jianzhou Yao Cheng's Merlin's Claw, and one of the seven Arbiter Generals. Her personality is unrestrained and frank, dashing and straightforward. She is skilled in all forms of martial arts, and has honed herself into a supreme weapon. She is widely adored by Jianzhou soldiers and civilians alike as the Great General. However, she bears the burden of the Moon Rage Affliction. If she were to hunt down all the abominations in her limited lifetime, Time, then the only enemy Fei Xiao has would be herself. I think her design looks sick. She literally looks like the female version of Jing Yuan. She's one of the seven Arbiter Generals, so I would assume she's on par in strength as Jing Yuan. She is a wind hunt five star. So she's basically Don Hung, but a woman and a five star. <laughs> But yeah, she's cool. We are going to be in the Jianzo for a couple of versions. Next up we have Lingxia, Extraterrestrial Satellite Communication. Lingxia. I am a Vidyadara born and raised on the Lafu, and I once studied the healing arts under the name of Danzu. But my master became bogged down in politics and was banished to a place far from home. I followed her there. Now that I've changed my name and come home, many complicated feelings have returned. The new cauldron master of the Jianzo Lafu's Alchemy Commission, an intelligent and quick-witted Vidyadara healer. She has a sharp sense of smell and often uses this to diagnose illnesses, as well as utilizing incense to calm the minds of others. She is adept at dealing with complicated social relationships. Though she might be fuming inside, her expression would remain calm and serene. So even though her demeanor is very calm, cool, and collected, she could literally be feeling anything. Wow. The new cauldron master of the Jianzo Lafu's alchemy commission. So we're gonna meet new people from different commissions, we're gonna go to different Jianzo ships, and I find that very exciting that we're being introduced to all these new Jianzo characters. Ling Sha is a 5 star fire abundance character. You know, following the path of abundance, I don't know if you wanna be a part of the Jianzo ships. That's kind of contradictory, considering the Aeon's history where Lon the Hunt and Yao, she had a, quite the conflict. So, her design is cute. I see all of the incense smoke around her. She really looks like she could sway someone into doing her bidding. She looks like an older Sparkle, but she has good principles and stuff, so. And last but not least, we have Moza. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce his name. Extraterrestrial Satellite Communication, Moza. Some people are silent because they have no desires. Some are silent because they have no thoughts. I am silent only because I do not wish to speak. A shadow guard on the Yao Qing. He is reticent and silent, always acting on his own. As an expert in intelligence services and other affairs that must remain obscure, Moza rarely shows himself before others. The moment he shows his true capacities is usually the moment for his enemies to face death. He has a wealth of knowledge regarding methods of assassination and seems to have an extraordinary obsession with tidiness and cleanliness. I've been hearing a lot of talk that Moza has the best Jianzo character design that we've seen so far, and I kinda agree considering that he looks like a 5 star Sampo. Uh, I don't want to make comparisons, but that's, that's the only thing that I could think of right now. He is a 4 star lightning hunt character, and honestly his splash art looks like people are chained down, but there's one person that they're like grabbing onto, I guess? I would think that Moza is an important character in the story, I would I would think. He's a shadow guard of the Yao Qing, and he is a silent killer. Not only does he barely speak, but he's also a freaking assassin. He's like one of the feds on the Jianzo. Expert in intelligence services, and when it comes down to a fight, quote, the moment he shows his true capacities is usually the moment for his enemies to face death. Bro's a stone cold killer. 
and I love it. But that is all for the 2.4 drip marketing. So we're going back to the Gienzo. I think we're doing some kind of or fighting tournament. Isn't that what Albert said, like, last patch? And plus, March 7th is going to be involved. She's gonna tread on a new path, she has a new outfit, and hopefully she doesn't get impaled in order for her to unlock these new abilities. <laughs> My predictions on what's going to happen in version 2.4 and going back to the Gienzo in this kind of trailblaze continuance mission. We're going to be involved in the tournament. I want to see my woman Yukong. She's my favorite character in the Gienzo. And hopefully we get to see an alive and well Tingyun. Bro, last time we saw Tingyun was in version 1.3? 1.4? At the end of the Gienzo Lafu arc where we saw her get possessed by Fentilia the Undying. You know, one of those Lord Rabbit. Remember that Echo Vor boss? Goodness. So yeah, I hope I hope she's alive and well. I just want to see these characters live a peaceful life. And even though a majority of the characters on the Gienzo have depressing backgrounds, <coughs> Blade, <coughs> Jing Liu, and especially my girl Yukong, I just want to see these people be happy. Bai Lu especially. We are just barely a minute away from watching the 2.4 special program livestream. So excited after spending for Jade. I can't keep spending for these Hoyo games anymore, bro. I'm broke. I can't do this anymore. I shifted all of my spending from Honkai Star Rail to Zenless, and I don't regret it. We spent enough time on Pinakoni, and now we said farewell, and now we're heading back to the Gienzo, meeting with our intergalactic Chinese and Asian homies. Let's go! Brought to you by the IPC. This is my recommendations, Mr. Jocho. <laughs> Jiao Chu! I have just the thing, Mr. Albert. Oh my gosh. Seeds and grind together with a splash of prickly ash. Uh, no, 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 Elf uh, Albert, no. And rinse after 20 minutes. Finally, Actions performed by professionals. Finish. Don't try this at home. Oh my gosh, you're burning him alive. He's about to turn into fried chicken. <laughs> Bro's burning. Dr. Jiao Chu. Albert's not the only one exhausted around here. Yun Lee? Oh well, my gosh, they're so cute. But make sure it utilizes plenty of... <laughs> <laughs> Jing Yuan. Digestion issues Our boy. Uh, some coriander should help with that. Coriander? Your hand. <laughs> Turn that evil herb at once. Bro doesn't like garnish and vegetables. Think wow. Cool. The trailer! Let's go. <gasps> March! Brings back so many memories. Come on, sh show us her new costume. Everyone, this way. <gasps> oh my gosh, dude. We'll be holding the luminary combat art ceremony. Your art ceremony? Combat art ceremony? What is happening? New enemies? Yo! <laughs> Bro, she has a gigantic sword. Oh my goodness. Boba tea! Ah! My girl! Oh! Her combat! Oh, Mar March is gonna pop off! New area! Oh, it's underwater? Jiao Chu. Wow. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? Hey yo. My first meal <gasps> after regaining my new enemy. Oh, we got a glimpse of uh. My what is happening? Shui Yi. No way, this has to involve the aeons. No way. No way. Oh my gosh! No freaking way. No freaking way. We're getting glimpses of characters in 2.5 already. Get your freaking codes. I need to get these codes too. We got March's new outfit. We got glimpses of the 3D models for the characters in version 2.5. This is crazy. What's gonna happen? Looks like we got like these new wolf enemies. So are these like representatives of like different ships? As always, your avian buddy Albert's here to guide you through. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Yun Lee, a sword master from the Jimmy. And I'm Jiao Cho. 
I may have the appearance of a chef, but I'm actually a healer. He feeds you, and I'm eating good. Had I known of your program's culinary delights, I would never have delayed. <laughs> about to set up a whole feast for all of them. <laughs> We'd be extremely. Wait a minute. Yo, Albert needs those credits, bro. As you know, mm. the Lawfu's ambrosial arbor crisis was only recently resolved. Recently? That was like plenty of patches ago. That was like version 1.5. It is also for this reason that the title of Sword Champion will not be decided in this ceremony. It won't? Oh, I think it's going to be determined in another, uh, in a future version. It's also an invitation to allies and friends, a display of peace, and an important duty for the Cloud Knights. Mm -hmm. That's why Yan Ching is This is a very wholesome tournament. Exactly right. In Trailblaze continuance. Trailblazers oh, this is part one. Trailblazers will witness Yan Ching's assiduous side and Ooh. his new identity. Yan Ching? What? He has a new identity? Who is he really? He's not this useless kid that keeps taking all these L's from from all these other people. Can Yan Ching please not be useless in a version? Please. At side will be two senior advisors, Zhao Cho, the Zhao Cho, as well as Moza. Ooh, Moza. Oh, I cannot wait to see them in game. I don't want to lower your spirits, but. I heard that the Trailblazer's arrival doesn't always coincide with a happy... <laughs> I mean, wasn't everyone fighting in the trailer? It feels like this tournament is going to be interrupted by new mobs and I think That's more like spirits such as um, like evil spirits from version 1.6, you know, where we met Hua Hua and Tail. The Law Fu will ensure a spectacular war dance. I hope so. This is a time for celebration and peace. With the war dance right around the corner, March couldn't help herself. Oh, yes. And she doesn't have to be impaled for it, right? I love her new outfit. She's so cute. I really hope this is going to be like a goaded patch. Bro, when are we going back to Bellabog? Bellabog has been forgotten since like version 1.4. A brand new map. Oh yeah, the new map. This has to be connected to the fictional garden, isn't it? Because it, yeah, the Shackling Prison. It's where Shui Yi and Hanya work. The Shackling Prison is where we detain criminals. Oh, it's underwater. And forbidding entrance is located. Oh, that looks cool. of Waterscape. Oh, it's by Skill Gorge Waterscape. An individual must first stand trial before being escorted to the Yes. For those Everyone becomes judged here. Heinous crimes. We Look at this environment. Cold or oh my gosh. The Dude. Of Blade and Locha were conducted in just such a place. Oh really? Doesn't sound like an easy place to spring a prison break. Mm. You can say that again. Blade and Locha were here. Oh hello Fushuin. Bro, this is literally the Minecraft cave update. Is the haunt of wolf-like monsters. Oh, the wolf-like monsters. Yeah, what are these Upon new enemies? Battle, the Borison share stacks of bloodlust. When bloodlust reaches a certain number of stacks, they enter the moon rage state and become enhanced. Ooh. So they can power themselves up when they continually attack. That's not good. That's not fun to play against. <laughs> I'm so excited to meet all these characters again. Where's my where's my girl Yukong? Where's a uh, fine and well Tingyun? Oh my gosh. Alright, let's check Yun Lee out. Oh my gosh, no! 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 <laughs> no, poor... That poor firefly. Or like, that lightning bug. Oh my goodness. Alright. She throws her sword. She throws her gigantic sword. This is her ultimate. And the sword turns big. Oh my gosh, fire destruction. I'm from the sea or physical! Enemy. Physical destruction! No. <laughs> Grandpa's always been nice to me. He loves me, you know? Miss Yoon Lee is a talented young Who lady. Who wouldn't love you? To her. Swords are more honest than people. She lives by the phrase, swords make acquaintances, fighting makes friends. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's so an interesting philosophy to go about. There's an able young man with a similar love of the sword. I have a feeling you two might get along. You mean hey, yo? He doesn't know the first 
thing about swords. <laughs> he collects them like they're going out of fashion, then never uses them. Ugh, I can hear those blades crying from here. Hey, yo, here. Jing Yuan is literally shipping his He's student, like Yan Cheng, with Yun Li. I gave him a unique name for the ages. Old Metal. Huh. <laughs> you, you, she it's named her sword thing. Old Metal. Wow. Me and Old Metal have a deep connection. Old Metal usually says something like, Let's start here and end there. Oh, she's cute. I, reply. I like her character. Oh, Yun Li might be young. But she's confident and unafraid to speak her mind. I love it's that time about characters. Skills on the battlefield. As a physical type character following the path of destruction, gentle persuasion isn't really my style. When using my skill, I restore my own HP while dealing physical damage to a single target and adjacent enemies. What really oh wow. Sets Yuli apart in combat is the way she counters the enemy. When attacked, she immediately launches a counter on the attacker, dealing damage to the target and adjacent enemies. There's a grudge. So whenever yeah, she's no attacked, she, she she hits him back you with follow-up attacks. Use the enemy's strength against them. After using my ultimate, I acquire the parry state, which allows me to sustain lower damage and taunt all enemies. In addition, my ordinary counter is upgraded to powerful counter. Oh my gosh. Higher damage. <laughs> She's literally <laughs> Clara. She is literally Clara. When using my technique, I obtain a special effect for a set duration. Oh my if gosh. If enemy launches an attack during that duration, the attack is blocked. <laughs> Bro, you interrupted her battle, eating, those, eating those freaking balls. Bro, yeah, deserved. That's not cool. No companion missions! We haven't had one since... Oh my gosh, when was the last companion mission we got? Version 1.6? 1.5? If Yun Li is also set to compete, and were she to prevail, then wouldn't the prize return home with her to the Zhu Ming? <laughs> Not so fast now. La Fu has something to say about that. Is Zhu Ming may have brought the prize, <laughs> but they ain't leaving with it. <laughs> Watch us. Easy now. External heat needs inner cooling, as they say. <sighs> Sounds like another difficult challenge for Yang Ching. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put that boy into shape. He's been taking too many L's. It's military healer, Zhao Cho. Zhao Cho. Let's go. Bro's just thinking about food in his idle animation. Is a fire abundance? Bro throws spices at them. No way does he attack them. Oh, he is. That is a freaking menacing look on his the face. Yao illustrious healer. <laughs> Mark Witten. Heard much about you. Same kind, voice actor general. as My visit to the law Kazuha. Your beef is overcooked. <laughs> <laughs> not the beef! Oh no, he's not a fire abundance, he's a fire nihility! Bro, let him cook, let him cook. I eat, and then I leave. Oh, you ain't going anywhere Simple man. I think it's time we took a look at what our delicious doctor can do on the battlefield. Yeah, what's his kit? What's his kit? I am a fire type character on the path of nihility. When using my technique during exploration, I create a special dimension. After entering battle with an enemy within the dimension, I inflict them with fire damage. And there's a possibility of following up with a stack of Ashen Roast Debuff. Okay. So we're cooking the enemy alive? <laughs> ashen Roast turns up the heat by causing enemies to sustain greater damage. Any attack that oh. Jojo lands on an enemy has a chance of inflicting Ashen Roast. Indeed. So Case lowers their point, defense? If I were to use my skill to deal blast damage, there would be a chance of simultaneously inflicting a stack of Ashen Roast on the target. Ashen Roast. Throw spices into the battlefield? Sharp Explosive off. spices. After launching my ultimate, the battlefield becomes an enormous Yuan Yang hot pot. Bro. Enemies are trapped 
and a searing broth. There's three Nihility characters in this party. You have Pela, Jiaochu, and Akron in the same party. This is a freaking Nihility team, bro. He's gonna cook them all. Mm. Oh, banners, banners. Hua Hua rerun. And my girl Yu Kong. I love Hua Hua. She's awesome. I still have yet to upload the fictional garden event. It's one of my favorite events ever. That whole event was literally Hua Hua's companion mission. Sparkle! Sparkle rerun already! Ooh! Look at this March light cone! And almost forgot! The version 2.4 warp and poise to bloom this is march's new poise light cone now i'm gonna build her i'm gonna actually build march put some respect on her name she's so cute let's take a closer look at the fruits of march 7th's journey as a sword master apprentice oh oh my gosh she's so adorable i love her new outfit oh my gosh she's trying and she's ah Oh, she's a freaking dual seal, dual sword wielder. No way. No way. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. She's so cute. And decides to learn sword play from Masters Yun Li and Yan Xing. No way. She has two sword masters too? I heard that March 7th was a bow and arrow user. Well, not anymore. I think we got glimpses of her sword dueling progression, like her quest. I love her. March 7th. Time to see March 7th sword blade action. March oh, please. 7th, the Hunk's basic attack deals imaginary damage. When using her skills, oh? March 7th selects a She gives boba to people. With a special beverage to increase She gives speed. boba to people. Yes. As a promising young student, March 7th has a keen understanding of her master's style. When her master launches an attack or ultimate, March 7th acquires charges. Oh? When charges reach a set number of stacks, she immediately takes action again and obtains- No freaking basic. way! Her enhanced basic attack deals set hits of damage to a target enemy, with a chance of dealing further hits. Dude, oh Just my gosh, chance. she's adorable. She's a rookie, remember? <laughs> Her moves might be a little rusty, but they yes. surprise you all the same. I don't care who Depending says what about her kit. She's adorable. She's cute. That's right. And that's example, the main reason I'm going to build her like this. Destruction, erudition, or the hunt can cause specific attacks to deal additional damage. Oh! Masters on the pass of nihility, harmony, preservation, or abundance can That's actually interesting. Of specific attacks. Wow, that's an interesting After concept. Her ultimate, March 7th can deal damage to a target enemy while improving her next enhanced basic attack. And <laughs> for those who oh my gosh, she's thinking March about her journey. March 7th is humble and learns from all her allies. During exploration, for every time a teammate uses their technique, March 7th acquires a charge at the start of the next battle. When using her own technique, she regenerates energy at the start of the next battle. It must be a great privilege oh, to have an apprentice. Oh, yeah. I'm building March, bro. <laughs> well, get this. Completing specific tasks in the version 2.4's Trailblaze Continuance will unlock... Switcher. Marks. Switcher. Right now. Option will appear in the character interface for this. Yo, yo. <laughs> apply this for Trailblazer and also Imbibitor Lune? Do it. Honkai Star Rail, please. Hoyoverse, do it. Oh my gosh, these animations are so fluid. And that's the next freaking code. Bro, if they applied that for March, they have to do it for Trailblazer and Imbibitor Lune. Like, it just, it just has to make sense, you know? Interesting how we only get one companion mission. And that's Yun Li's. I assume that this Trailblaze continuance is all about Jiao Chu and what's gonna happen in the new area. And we get to spend more time with March and she's going to tread on a new path. Bro, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Guests and visitors from all corners. Oh, the events. The saga of Primaveral Blade. Are we able to assist? The war dance ceremony is approaching, and March 7th has been invited to become Yanqing and Yunli's apprentice in swordplay. As her assistant, you will plan sword art sessions to help her achieve victory in the eventual duel in swordplay. I'm so glad to help her out in this journey. Mr. Albert, have you heard the proverb? Hey yo! We even have Silverwolf to help out too? Between me 
and Yan and Ching, we've got the sword skills. Oh my gosh, there's these cute fashion. comics too. Still, balance training also requires rest. Oh my gosh, we're gonna turn her into a manga. The fabled work-life balance. This is so cute. <laughs> Sounds like you've got to figure it out, Miss Yudley. <laughs> Results or your money back. I have a feeling Miss March will have some fortuitous encounters and crucial assistance along the way. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, indeed. We get to receive Adelons from this event, too. This is for March. Yeah. As long as a swordmaster is worthy of the sword in their hand, they have nothing to worry about. Wise words indeed, Miss Yun. Yeah, say that to freaking Yan Ching. <laughs> Let's move on to another Operation event. Memoria Snapshot. We have to take pictures of trash cans. Unpredictable old friends, the trash cans. Of course. Have you seen these old friends have appeared on the Xianzhou? <laughs> Appear they have. Oh no, and they're spreading. They're doing a trash can shoot? You better believe it. Of the course they are. The question is Randolph. And just like the Trailblazers, they're a trash can enthusiast. If you spend enough time Classic Trailblazer, cars, going no back to that meme. Encounter. Trash can enthusiasts? <laughs> Comes with the territory. Oh During my gosh. The event, trailblazers must use the photography software provided by Randolph to take pictures of trash cans hidden among the crowds. Different trash cans? The trash cans ones. are among us. Some trash cans even adopting special movements. <laughs> oh my gosh, bros flexing. <laughs> and a friendly reminder, trash cans That's so funny. Now this event isn't confined to the CN show. No way. Friendship is magic. These guys are official freaking bronies. The power of friendship. The classic friendship trope. With friendship we can beat anything. A gray friend you once met in dreams has come alone to the real world of Bellabog. Oh, another fighting event. No, I don't- okay. I- I said earlier that Bellabog is forgotten. And I will still stick to that unless we have like a trailblaze continuance. Or like a whole event revolving around Bellabog again. Like coming back here just to fight some enemies. I don't count that. Oh my gosh, we're sending- we're sending trash cans. Bro, why'd you have to do freaking Pela dirty like that? Oh my gosh. I love Pela. She's awesome. Dude, this is so funny. This is so funny. And we're fighting as to trash cans. I love these drawings. They're so funny. Alright, what's the next event? Hearts of Space Station? Simulated universe updates? Divergent universe? Oh, that that's it for the events. Get your code. Reality Invitation Trailer. Face the challenge anywhere, anytime. Oh! Is this an IRL event with March? Supernatural. Honkai Star Rel AR Encounters. I respect March so much for treading on a new path and even willing to- Oh! Oh my gosh, dude. Akron, Aventurine, and Firefly soccer outfits. Oh my goodness. Star Rail Art Challenge, Games of the Galactics. Anyway, as I was saying, I respect March for taking on Yun Li and uh, Yan Cheng is masters and wanting to Welcome learn back, another free tenpole free tenpole of course I love Honkai Star Rail. I love Hoyaverse for that and of course there's also the Garden of Plenty I am we'll building March and Japard Planner Fisher thank you and we haven't even got to this version system optimizations yet updates with the quality of life when using the filter function to screen relics already in your possession, filter choices can be saved for a faster selection process. Okay, Meanwhile, thank you. In relic inventory, Trailblazers will find new quick lock and quick discard functions. When choosing relics for a character, relics will be sorted according to the character's relic set prioritization, with the most suitable relics appearing first. Okay. There's also a new feature for relic substat recommendations. By using the wow. recommended Thank relics you. feature, not only can Trailblazers view a character's most frequently used relic Yeah, feature, I really like that update. The recommended main and subsidiary stats. And finally, when checking simulated universe interface and cavern of corrosion in the interastral peace guide, oh, Trailblazers can see recommended characters for the relics in question. Okay, thank you. So I know who I'm farming for. With new versions, captivating events, and time limited rewards. 2.4 has added an advanced access feature for both Trailblazer continuance and events. Okay. So if a Trailblazer doesn't meet the prerequisite conditions for a given event, you can skip those events. Still experience the new 
Convergence events and missions? Uh, yep. You got it. Trailblazers who've reached level 21 will see a Play Now icon appear on the event page for events with advanced access eligibility. <laughs> Just select the icon. That's highly convenient for our newer players. Now that's an option. Thank you. In the mission catalog, missions with early access will feature a special icon. Maps yet to be unlocked will get temporary map teleportation access while also featuring a special icon. Okay. Trailblazers can freely switch between the displays for the normal map and the temporary maps unlocked as a result of advanced access event activation. And finally, oh? Intel on a mysterious collaboration destined for launch in 2025. What? Oh. Honkai Storyline Fate Stay Night? <laughs> No freaking way! No freaking way! Oh my gosh! No, this is their like one of their best collabs. I love the Fate series. I love the Fate series. That's coming in quarter three, 2025. That's next year. That's crazy. Ain't no way. Ain't no way they're doing this. Let us all bear witness to the future of this Yenjo Lawfu. Well, thank you. Next time. See you See you please uh, please don't tease us with something else. This better be the end. Okay, it's the end. Oh my gosh. This whole version was full of stuff. Let's check out the trailer again. Version 2.4. Finest duel under the pristine blue. <sighs> Coming back to this place brings back so many memories. You know? I agree. Yanqing Don Hung. The Anjo La Fu will be holding the Luminary Combat Art Ceremony. Your presence would be greatly appreciated. There There's trouble! Right on Trouble's down. afoot! Yun Li and Yan Qing are here to take care of the problem. <laughs> this is awesome. Hey, yo. <laughs> the shackling system on the Lawfu is completely different from the one on the Yaqing. Mm. It's completely underwater. Wherever crowds gather, there is always an undercurrent beneath the surface. <laughs> Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? My first Okay, there's something going on. How do you know something's up? She may be one of the most apathetic characters in this game, but you gotta listen to the crazies. You really do. First meal after regaining my freedom. Oh, we got a glimpse of Moza right there. Right there. Look at how hot he is. Everyone consume and embrace his hotness. His 3D model. Is the flesh and blood of my fellow kindred. My no, Shui Yi! She's about to be freaking taken! Bro, anything happens to either Shui Yi or Hanya, the other has something to say about it. Hanya's about to freaking pop off. Condolences, Miss Hanya. My condolences? She's not dead. Shut up. She is not dead. Shut up. No way Shui Yi dies. She should she's freaking playable. I don't want to hear anyone in the comments saying, oh, but but Ting Yun's dead. No, she's not. I refuse to believe that she's dead. That was literally a fake body possessed by Fentilia. We don't know where the real Ting Yun is. No body, no death. Shui Yi better not freaking die on screen. Surely, surely Shui Yi doesn't die, bro. Don't insist, oh my gosh. Wait, what are these new enemies? Are these wolves or are they mechanized? Like, what is going on? I see the trailblazer, I see Hanya. It seems like we're at the back foot here. Saver! I'm always up for a challenge. Let's freaking go. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is Fei Xiao. This is the arena that we're gonna hold the um the fighting tournament in. She is beautiful. Always up for a challenge. Oh my gosh, I love her eyes too. Look at those. She has fair skin, light blue eyes. Yeah, damn. Always up for a challenge. Yeah, she a baddie. She a baddie. Finest duel under the pristine blue. Oh my, I can't get enough of this March. She's so adorable. 
She gives people boba. Freaking bubble tea. Look at that. Saga of Primaveral Blade. Where we're going on some manga adventures. We're reminiscing on her on her journeys. Taking picture of trash cans. They're spreading like the freaking swarm. Bro, these things are the next propagation. Tazeron, what are you doing? The Aeon of Trash Cans. Oh my goodness, man. Wow. Wow. I feel like there's a lot to look forward to coming back to the Jianzo. We're getting another companion mission, Yun Li. We're getting Trailblaze Continuance. Being in this new area, it's also the same place where Blade and Luocha received their judgments when they were captured. We got fun new events where going to Bellabog. I don't count that. Come on, Hoyaverse, do better. I need to see Serval. I need to see Pela again on Bellabog. But this, but this version is actually about uh, the Jianzo. So I'm genuinely looking forward to this new version. I refuse to believe that Shui Yi is going to die. Even though Don Hung said to Hanya, my condolences. She better not freaking die or else I'm going to be upset. Please don't make Shui Yi the next Ting Yun, okay? Hoyaverse, don't do it. When I play this and I find out that Shui Yi dies, you're going to hear a lot from me. But anyways, if you guys like my reaction to the version 2.4 trailer and live stream, find us duel under the pristine blue. Leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Would really appreciate the support. I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on this version, whether it be like the characters, the new area, um, certain people's kits, whatever. I'd like to know and get a discussion going. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe and stay awesome, and have a good one.